Hi everyone, it's Luke here, that conscious living guy. And today, because it's plastic free July, I thought I'd do my top tips on reducing your plastic uh, that you use. So, uh, first of all, if you've not seen my video about eco bricks and how to make them, this is probably your best reusing your plastic that you can recycle. Um, I'll have the link up above. Uh, just for you to check it out so initially this was my top 10 tips on reducing your plastic uh, however there's more than 10 tips in this video and um, so I'll just go ahead and start so my first tip is to chuck your disposable razors away I have done recently and I've bought a razor that's got a guarantee for 100 years uh, there's zero plastic whatsoever in this razor it's like a safety razor and the only plastic that is um connected to the razor is this these are the blades and you basically it's really easy you push this to pull the blade out and then you dispose of your old blades there and um, this is probably one of the biggest things that uh, i've done and i think it really benefits myself as well uh, because a lot of the disposable razors have triple blades on and they, they pull really badly on your hair and I've been using this for about two to three weeks now and I, I feel like it used to be a daunting task um, to shave and now I, I feel like I could you know do it every other day or every couple of days and I'm no longer kind of worried about like the pull or the snags uh, that you get with the disposable razors. So my second uh, tip for reducing your plastic waste is toothpaste. So I stopped many years ago uh, from buying toothpaste from uh, supermarkets or shops and I started making my own toothpaste. So this is my whitening toothpaste. It's pretty much two ingredients. It's bicarbonate soda and activated charcoal this is very messy um, and I was actually using like a, an oil based toothpaste which I'm probably going to go back to uh, just because I feel like it, it kind of treats your gums um, really good with coconut oil and it's not as messy so I'm probably going to remove the deactivated charcoal um, but this completely works I actually feel like my teeth are a lot more cleaner uh, when I use this toothpaste and although it's in like a plastic tub um, I'm going to be using this for years and years. I can use this on holiday um, and I can go pretty much anywhere basically with it and it's just one piece of plastic. So I'm probably going to be looking hopefully at getting a, a metal um, tub uh, but it needs to be like airtight. And this is airtight with the, the four clips. And if you think about toothpaste as well, you probably buy your toothpaste maybe once a month, every couple of months. So it's going to really drastically reduce the amount of plastic that you you buy, which is really good. My third tip is actually using these cotton and bamboo pads to, if you're a girl, you can use these to wash off your makeup. Uh, if you're a guy, you can use these to cleanse your um, skin and you can even put a toner on them as well. And you pretty much put them in this bag, wrap it around and do a knot so it doesn't come and done in the washing machine and you just rewash them. You can use these, I believe, for up to a thousand washes. Uh, you can get these from a lot of eco shops locally as well. Um, and they're just really, really good. I've stopped buying cotton pads because obviously they're, they're packaged in plastic. And I probably did this about a year ago now. Um, and again, I just wouldn't go back. It's really easy and saves you quite a lot of money and not buying the cotton buds every month or every couple of months. So my fourth tip is getting a, a bottle like this, uh, which is concentrated uh, for cleaning. So this actually makes up to 80 bottles of cleaner and as you can probably imagine if you're just buying your bottles um you know separately each time you run out you you chuck it away and buy another bottle uh this you're pretty much 
use this refillable bottle and this is going to last the entirety of the 80 bottles after that i'll obviously chuck this away but then you can also buy uh, cleaning pods online or what like your local sainsbury's or eco shops and these are pretty much in a cardboard box uh, they're just kind of like little uh, washing pods and you pretty much put them in some hot water in the bottle shake it as they completely dissolve and then you've got your cleaning products this has actually lasted me about five years i think it might even be six years um and and as you can see like it, it's literally only here so i've got tons of um more cleaning products um to use this is multi-purpose as well so it's antibacterial there's no harsh chemicals it's eco-friendly and the powerful results that you get from it are absolutely incredible and it's multi-use as well so i use it for the kitchen i use it for the bathroom i use it for carpets i use it for i think i even use it for dusting to be honest i pretty much use it for every, everything um and obviously with it being antibacterial i could possibly even use it for my hands uh, because it is you know all eco-friendly and, and good for the planet and then my next tip is this again it is um concentrated so this is a spring refresh it's kind of like febreze but an eco-friendly version i actually use this um as a room freshener and it works really really well it smells really nice it's a fresh linen smell and it's just made of essential oils and it's really healthy it's really good for your skin uh, it doesn't obviously make you break out or anything and it's mega mega cheap this was a, i think was a, a tenner and this makes up up to 25 bottles again i've not used a lot of it at all and i pretty much use this probably every day and again like all like the aerosols that you you buy are full of chemicals this isn't this is just made of essential oils which is uh, really good and so much cheaper and um, my next tip is actually uh, phone cases so there's a company called i think it's pella and they make these kind of like rubber phone cases it's not actually rubber though it feels like rubber it's actually made out of flax seeds and it's actually 100 percent biodegradable so i bought this this year and i will not go back they had an offer on, I believe it might still be on, where you buy one, get one free. Uh, this means that I change my normally daily and I spray my phone and my case with antibacterial um, spray, which, the, which was previously in this video. And it just kind of obviously, I've got this one and I've got like a mustardy coloured one as well. And the mustardy coloured one, both of them I just really like. This has got like a nice little turtle on. And my other one has got some bees and this again is, is you're gonna you can use this for however long you want to use it for this is probably obviously until i get a new phone and i might sell this or what i might do is that i might literally just plant it in the ground it's it's just gonna biodegrade and not leave a trace which is absolutely amazing i'm really impressed with it uh, there was quite expensive but they are they actually have a guarantee if you buy this as well as their zero plastic screen protector which is actually a liquid screen protector they have a guarantee where if you do use the case and the screen protector so if your screen does break they actually cover the price up to 200 dollars and um, which i believe is definitely enough to you know fix your phone screens or many phone screens if they do break which is absolutely amazing again. And then my next tip is toilet roll. So you're probably gonna laugh at this, but I actually buy mine in bulk. Um, and this year and last year, I was actually really lucky that I bought it in bulk because obviously there was a, there was a shortage of toilet paper. Uh, I buy from a company who gives a crap um, there is literally individually wrapped with paper, which is 
recyclable and biodegradable and they come in a massive box no sellotape whatsoever i've actually seen another company that are actually well known for toilet roll i think they're called kashan and they've actually started doing their own toilet roll wrapped in paper uh, in shops i believe i saw it in asda um which is probably what i'm going to start buying after these have run out because these was a little bit expensive um but yeah i'm going to get them obviously that paper that is wrapped around the toilet roll is not um, recyclable so that's just going to be go to a landfill and is always going to be uh, there unfortunately it doesn't biodegrade my next tip is refillable water filters if you can't get the refillable water filters there is a brand called i think it's fonx i'll leave a link below anyway and you basically have a filter for life and then you refill that filter up with do you know the the filter like beads that they have uh, in the filter and this is really good because obviously your filters are recyclable but the amount of co2 that is produced in transporting these filters um to certain different factories to uh, recycle is actually a lot so i've not officially started buying them but as soon as i've used my current filters um, i will be using the them filters instead and then my next tip is to buy your reusable metal cups or flasks uh, that are only made out of metal uh, you can actually get shakers as well so my next probably purchase is going to be to get my uh, new metal shaker i just have a little bit of plastic there but it might be glass i'm not entirely sure and again like the whole of this this is all um metal so it's just going to get reused it's got a little bit of rubber on the bottom which is also um can be recycled i'm not sure about this plastic top because it is black plastic but um it came in no plastic whatsoever apart from the plastic top and this is going to reduce the amount of cups that you get from coffee shops because none of them are bi uh, biodegradable uh, some are i know in scotland i went to scotland um i believe last year and there's a couple of places that are doing biodegradable cups now um but it's not a huge amount of companies that are doing it uh, so this will be a big help so another tip is um deodorant or antiperspirant so these are actually what i use so these are actually from morocco um, but you can get I, be, I believe this is some kind of crystal and you basically wet it and just rub it underneath your arms um, and it works really really well there is also a couple of companies that are using um, a metal case for your roll-ons and then you just refill the main bit uh, so there's no plastic again that's used there is also other companies i know that bulldog are looking at doing like a zero plastic uh, deodorant uh, which is really good a lot of other companies are also using biodegradable tubes as well and um, which is really good another simple way of reducing your plastic and um, my next tip i actually use quite a lot and i really love um, so this is um, metal, a metal straw, so it has like a real cute little holder and it's expandable as well, so you expand it. Um, I normally ask for a little bit of soda water when I'm at a pub once I've finished with it and you just put it in soda water for a couple of minutes and it cleans it all. Uh, if not, you can always you know, clean it maybe every couple of days or every time you've used it uh, at home uh, this is really good because it was it's part of the zero waste club uh, completely complete metal no plastic whatsoever and um, there's also uh, straws that I've got like I've got a bamboo straw which is biodegradable and I've also got like a rubber straw as well uh, which re is really helpful 
um, if you are a bit addicted to chewing straws or you don't like the straws hitting your teeth uh, if you've got sensitive teeth. So my next tip is actually hair products. So a lot of hair products that I use are uh, in tin. So this is the hair putty that I use. This is from Superdrug. Uh, this is completely tin uh, with a little bit of paper and it's a really good product and it's it's actually not tested on animals as well. Um, and this lasts me absolutely ages. I don't really put a lot on it, to be honest. Um, I normally just like do whatever my hair wants to do. Uh, I also used to buy hairspray. Um, not so much now. I actually don't buy it anymore. I'm on my last, last like couple of cans. And this is just because like the lid's plastic and then also the spray and probably inside there must be like a tube or something um i don't use th them anymore another tip uh, that i use is actually uh, shopping bags so i bought a turtle bag um it must have been a couple of years ago now and i use it pretty much every time i go shopping uh, this is a hundred percent biodegradable and i have got some other shopping bags uh i bought these at I'd say about four or five years ago, uh, they, ha they, they are lined with plastic, um, but the, they're all, again, it's about reducing plastic, not, do you know, if you can completely cut plastic out of your, your life, absolutely awesome, do you know, kudos to you, um, but if you can't and you, you're looking at just reducing your plastic, um, that's a really good way of doing it. A lot of the bags that you can reuse now um, at stores, and normally classes back for life so if they rip you can go back and they can you know replace it for free i also know that aldi are using compostable bags now which is absolutely amazing there has been a couple of times where i forgot um to buy a bag or i forgot my rucksack that i normally use and i buy these just because they are quite strong and again i'm not making an impact on the planet and Another tip that I am really looking forward to actually using is toothbrushes. So I currently have a normal B toothbrush. I have had it for about seven years now. The battery is going. I have to charge it like every three days. Highly annoying. I've not replaced the head for a while. I know that there is a company now uh, that actually does recyclable toothbrush heads, which is really, really good. Um, so at some point I'm going to buy that i am holding off because i have actually bought um a toothbrush paid a toothbrush but i haven't actually uh, had it delivered yet it was on kickstarter and the toothbrush is called the b toothbrush the re one of the main reasons why i got this is because the heads are 100 percent biodegradable and it's actually a mechanical toothbrush so you twist it twice and that charges the toothbrush for two minutes so you can brush your teeth so you don't ever have to charge it which is absolutely epic i will leave the link uh, below they have got some other products that are biodegradable as well it's a nice eco-friendly company and i'm really impressed that do you know what they're doing they are bringing out the the world's only um kinetic toothbrush which is really really good and i'm really looking forward to it and my last tip is actually refillable shower gel, shampoo, uh, or hand wash. So this is what I use. Again, this is plastic, but I, I refill this. Again, with my shampoo, I do exactly the same. And my body wash, I also do that as well. If you can find a place that is like a zero waste shop, um, really, really good. What I used to do, because there wasn't a zero waste shop in Hull uh, where you could refill um, your, your shower, shampoo and your hand wash. I actually used to buy a really big bottle, I think it's like five litres of shampoo and I used to use that as body wash as well and it literally lasted me like two years. Again that is going to be so much less plastic that you buy in and I think I would say obviously I said that was my last tip but I'm going to just add an extra bit so what I tend to do now is I actually ask companies uh, 
if their plastic is biodegradable, if they are looking at being um, zero, a zero waste company. Just because I feel the more people that ask this, they're going to see that there's a demand for it. Everything that I buy, I do try to either make sure that the plastic is biodegradable or I then fill my eco bricks up with a plastic that I have that isn't biodegradable. Um, and that can be used, you know, by communities around the world to build houses or huts or schools, anything basically. Yeah, so that's everything for today. Please don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up to this video if you liked it. Don't forget to smile at a stranger and treat people with kindness always. And I'll catch you in the next one.